Hello everyone, welcome back to the Geospatials. So in this tutorial we are going to be creating a database and making it spatial by adding in PostGIS. So in order to do that, if you have already installed pgadmin, just open it. Now pgadmin is going to open in a browser for version 4 onwards. For the uh, older versions, it opens as a standalone application. So um, on, lo on opening pgadmin for the first time, you'll be required to input your password that you had set. And then you'll have one server that has been created called PostgreSQL 10. You can add more servers by right-clicking on servers and creating a new server. So we'll be using PostgreSQL 10 server that has been created and expand databases. By default, a Postgres database has been created and this is always there. So to create a new database, just right click on databases and create a new one. We are going to name it PG Baby, like that. And then leave everything else as default for now. So this is the SQL that can be used for the same uh, process of creating a database. Just use the create database PG baby with the following parameters and then save. Now once you have our database created, we want to make it spatial. So in order to do that, first let us expand our database. And we can see that our database has a number of items. It has casts, catalogs, triggers, extensions data wrappers, languages, and schemas. In order to create a, or rather make our database spatial, we'll need to run the command create extension PostGIS. PostGIS is what um, we have been talking about and we are going to add it to our database. So with your database highlighted, go to tools and click on query tool. So we are going to write here the command that we want to run and it's create extension postgis and then you can end it with a semicolon so to run this you can execute it using f5 for this icon so our extension has been created successfully and if we go to uh, extensions and our database we see that postgis has been added another way to add postgis extension is to go to the create extension option and type it in here but since you already have it installed or created it won't be in the list so any other extension you want to add can be added in the same way just ensure you first uh, install it using stack builder now we also notice that uh, there is a schemas item and we have a public schema so under our public schema we have tables and in the tables for any spatial database there is a default spatial refsys table and this contains all of the spatial reference uh, systems that exist and if we just check that you'll see that they are listed down here we'll get into what spatial reference systems are in another video also under views we have a geography column and a geometry column. So these are also given by default for a spatial database. We'll also look at this in a later tutorial. And guys, if these tutorials are helpful to you in any way, consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to give this video a like. Bye.